Finally. Okay. It's over the door. I was outside. Outside there. And I want I was knocking on the glass door. Oh, okay. How was it? It was really good. Yeah, good. Nice. Okay. What did you say? Uh, all sorts of stuff. We did a bossa nova thing. They did a vision of a piece written by one of the people in the thing. What? When I didn't play games in the afternoon and you come home, if you remember, remind me that we, that you might want to play Portal 2. Okay. All right. Good night, Lana. Good night, Alexi. Some people might wonder how dreams make it into real life. Well... It all has to do with the dream fabrication machine. I was so happy when they outfitted me with this. Let's send it a signal.
green insect man and two little me's. Hangman. Someone smashed the little me. I hold the remaining others to run down the path to this fallen tree. The ones that I've already taken it. I do not know where the others are. A nice family took some of them out of the rain when it rained, so they might have a few. Other than that, the one that Camera 2 saw were the only ones left. These three friends have been through it all. They've seen some friends leave, and other friends fall. They have hope for the future. Spring is coming soon. A great watching beast. I'll keep this beast as a watcher. No one will find this one. A wizard. He cannot stand on his own, and three friends will help him. A one-footed boy. It seems the three friends will have to help him too. And where would a boy be without his mother? This mother of wires is a silent caretaker. Where's Hangman? He is gone, but he will not be gone for long. His head came loose from his body, so a fix time was in need. Like Wakey the Clock from long ago, it's time for him to be remade. How can I do this? I haven't been honest with you all. I have a crack in my mind to reality unit. But don't worry, it is small, it only lets it lose. And I can use it to bring my dreams back for a time, so don't worry, it's easy, let go! Hyman is live with a new antenna and beautiful flowers on him to welcome spring. I discovered that many YouTubers have done a face reveal. So, I decided to make my own face in my mind to use as a face in my videos. This is my face reveal. Well, do you like it? I certainly do. My new face can do many things. It can be happy. It can be sad. And it can be angry. angry. Have a nice day. This is the Hoyt Park Pyramid signing off. Hello, everyone. This is a quick update as to my long absence. I've 
uh, uh, the crack's gotten worse and more signals are being let in. I'm working hard to patch it, and it is working, but I won't be able to make new videos for a while. Well, sorry, uh, uh, pyramid signing off. What is this? What? What? The fuck? Hey! Hello? What the fuck is this? Hello? Look at this. What the fuck is this? Why am I wearing this? this on the outside. I'll never wear this on the outside. What's that? Oh. Gotta go. Do something. Damn it.
Okay. Good to know. Right along here is the new boundary. Okay, so the boundaries seem to have updated again. I don't know if any of the people in these houses can hear me. Um, so I'm not trying to sound like a crazy person. There's this new place called The Long Run. And it goes for a while. And then down there, there's the woods that connects to the um, other area. I can't go up any of these paths. Won't. So, here's an, yeah. It rained really heavily recently, and a lot of the terrain has changed, and there's just water everywhere. And there's these deep pits. There's like one area in them that just seems to be just water under everything. There's hardly ever this much water going through here. I mean, I assume, look how much it's over flooded is this place that has leaves on it. I haven't really been in here before. So like I said, it opened, it opened the barriers, or expanded the barriers. Never really out of here. After it rains. So, all this rainwater is here. And I don't think it's ever been this open before, because look at all the water. The boundaries at that fence way over there did not expand, though. They stayed in a... Uh, j they just stayed flat. I think there's... I think it's like an expanding circle. But at some point, the circle can't expand anymore. Because the barriers that did expand are sort of in a rounded formation, but a lot of them didn't. Like, those ones over on the fence. And these ones, over here, they only expanded so that this trail here would be able to be walked through. That's where I bumped into them before, when it rained a little bit before. Look at that. I think it's tears. It was raining when I woke up. So I think somehow when it rains, that whatever is making this, like I don't know if it has to do with that Hoyt Park pyramid thing, but I just, I don't know. I think it takes more of the outside reality into the runoff. And I think it took me whenever it rains does it. 
feel more connected to the runoff. So much water going through it. I feel like I'm expanding. Like I'm expanding to fit the space of the runoff. And then soon I'll just be a part of it. I've been seeing things too. Like things I didn't see before. Like the shadows. Like but shadows that have nothing that cast them. Like dreams running back and forth in a mind. And I don't know. Lots of weird things. Noticed, I don't know how I didn't notice this, especially because I hardly ever sleep. But I just, I'm, I'm wearing different clothes than I was before. I have a flashlight now. Lots of other things too. It's like I don't realize time is passing. I don't realize things are happening. It seems like, and I'm doing it more and more. So, necklace connections. I used to wear a necklace. I was wearing it when I first got here. And I always got something weird with the necklace. Anyway, I kept it in my pocket for the past some things. I don't know how much time it's been. But it was moving by itself, at least I felt like it was, like, I would walk, and then I would stop walking, and it would keep, like, bouncing around on me, and I always got this weird feeling looking at it from the, it had, like, a stone or a crystal in it, and I would, like, when I looked at it, I always got the feeling that it was looking back. It looked sort of like a, like a sideways gray diamond with, like, a greenish stone in it, and it had a wire sticking out of it. I mean like a, some kind of wire for like attaching things together, not like electrical wire. I don't know why that matters, but yeah, I remember before I woke up here, I used to live and there was a, we had a little porch outside with this fence on it and the fence sort of had slats that were like going and like a beam that went in between the two slats so that you could reach your hand through part of it but there was like a little place where the where something could sit on it and I found the necklace well the weird thing was is that it wasn't I don't even know if it was supposed to be a necklace I don't know who left it there it didn't have the string that I put on it on it but it was just like it was just on that little part on the fence and it looked like it had been there for like a few days before I saw it. I was coming back from a concert at my school. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have explored the whole runoff. I have never seen this track before. Keep going, I guess. I don't get anywhere if I walk any of these directions. There's where I was. Never been here before. I'll have to sleep again to find the names for these places. Just 
gonna keep the camera on for a bit. Whoa. This is like at least twice as much space in the runoff as I thought there was. Look. I saw a bird. Big owl or something. Owls are not what they seem. Like from Twin Peaks, you know? Anyway. Playground. Okay, I just was sitting on the swings here and I felt my hair, my hair is cut. My hair is shorter. I don't have a hair clip anymore. And the runoff freaking cut my hair off. Cut my hair off. Like, I just I feel like I've been here my whole life, but I never get tired of like the kind of small area that it is. Whoa. I don't know what to think of it anymore. I still remember my old life, but I don't miss it. Things are weird here sometimes, though. I might try to catch a shadow on the video if I can. Maybe. It's weird. I feel like if the runoff gets bigger, I sort of get bigger. But not, like, physically. I mean, like, I don't mean mentally either. I mean, like... Um, like I'm sort of, like, I kind of caught me and kind of filling up a, the whole space of the runoff and I'll just be, like, I'm just a part of it or I'm something in it. I'm not in it. I'm having a really hard time formulating my thoughts about this. Quickly, before this place makes me forget it again, I've got a thought. And it's sharp, and it's... I do see people. I see people in here. I see people walking around in here. And it's like, oh, stick fell off. Um... People walking their dogs and stuff. And another thought. Can I hold it? And it's like a park or something. If this runoff is like a park or something. There's people walking their dogs in it. But I've never tried to talk to them about this. And I really don't know why. It's like sometimes I'm in the runoff. And sometimes I'm in a real world place. And the times when I'm in the real world version of this, this place, that's when, that's, that's when I think of.
looking for shadows. Shadows. Nothing that casts them. There's water going through. Very scary time. Help feeling more spacious, more wide than having a long time. Look at this watery stuff. Oh my god. Wind's blowing. Grass rustling. Strange feeling. Feels like I'm about to expand to hit the limit. I'm about to expand. Feel this whole run off. This whole mind. Water. It's like inner tears. Inner tears in a mind. Of the faraway houses. The edge of the runoff. The boundary. My trees. I think I hear something. <sighs> makes me want to just go and hide. Something that makes me want to hide. I hear something that makes me want to hide. Something, a scary thing. I hear a scary thing. Usually seen them around here before. Only fleeting glimpses. I might not be able to catch them on camera. Only fleeting glimpses. Holy shit! Oh my god! You see that? You see that? This set is called The Concrete Dreams because the concrete clay they have will keep them safe from winter storms and rains to come. These two are the brothers Locksmith. And here we have the planet animal, whose back harbors life of all sorts. And this is the worker tree, who works to help. And here is a little bluebell. She enjoys her quiet time. And this is the clock case snail. It uses its three hammers to pull itself along. This is the new set of dreams. This is the FD Squad. 
Maguire. And this is a magic mirror. This one is named the component. This is Top Hat Billy. He tips his hat to you. This is a magical tree named Bill Denny. And this is the strong-willed policeman. He says, stop. These are the only two concrete dreams left. All the others have found a better home. But in the outside world, another thing has happened that surprised even me. I don't know where they came from, but they are. A set of dreams not made by me. I named them the Scarfed Cow, the Green Dragon, and Whoever used these dreams used clay, so I decided to use my newly stabilized mind to reality and reality to mind unit to take them in and give them fixed times so that they will be able to survive winter rains and storms to come. Something's growing in the pipes. A decay is growing, which brings new life. The pipe duck is here from the old thing that's living in its pipe grow new things out of the pipe. But there was another pipe dream. old factory. Orange flowers grow from its pipe slime.
Thank you.
All was not well in the Mystery Man home where Top Hat Billy had resided. Whether through weather or vandalism, Top Hat Billy's body had come loose from his body, and since his head and top hat were nowhere to be seen, there could be no fixed time. The FD Squire was also seen, smashed upon the side of the Mystery Man home. Since the smash little me so long ago, I have learned to accept these things, for once I release the dreams, they do not belong to me anymore. But I still take pride in a new batch of dreams. Here they are, five journeymen. There was also a little sapling who knows that spring is coming soon. As Camera 2 was flying over to get a final shot of me for the end of the video, he received a pleasant surprise. It was the component, who had been moved by someone to this little tree hollow that had been hiding for many winter months. The recent days have been categorized by a few things. Me and Camera 2 continue to search the park for signs of spring. I have also been worried, for I have not received any recent transmissions from Camera 1. The line has gone dead. As you may have already seen, I have also begun to release some of the first original Hoyt Park Pyramid music. A full album should be released soon, set to the theme of The Runoff. Other than that, it looks like things are looking up, and spring is coming soon. Spring is here undoubtedly, at last, and with it came a new set of dreams. There was this little fellow, called the Locksmith Worm and a red key bird. There was a sitting buffalo. And a frustrated man, whose shapes were very to my liking. And this large block of a thing is called the Cat Tower. But there were also old, beat up dreams sheltering in the Mystery Man home. This Mystery Man home is a fortress home for old dreams. This blue faced friend is called the Hello Spring Greeter. And this is the hand eyeball, who has been chewed upon by a dog. And this is the machine gun mouse. This friendly animal's name is Sarah. The mystery men are shadow spirits that live in the park and take care of things that need care. When I awoke, many mystery men who were sleeping in me came out and colonized the fireplaces in the park, turning them into mystery man homes.
There is a new set out. They are called the November Dreams because that is when they came forth. Full shift is now complete. All dreams are now made of only metal and other materials that will not be destroyed in storms. See how happy they look in the fresh snow? Even the littlest one was there. Like father, like son! In the runoff, there is a ridge. The ridge is where the train tracks stay, and it is where the train works, sleeps, and goes. The train's frightfully content goose horn horn cries out in the day and in the dark when the casterless shadows walk the paths. The trains are known to the runoff people as ironworms. And this is the story of the day one screamed. It was day, Wednesday, and Sam, Bob, and Clath were operating a freight train carrying coal. Bob was the driver, Sam the helper, and Clath the lookout. The day had been a normal shift so far and the train was stopped on a ridge for a routine inspection of the freight car side panels. After all appeared to be in order, the three men walked out slowly to the engine. It really was a beautiful day. Before the train could commence movement once more, Clath yelled from his lookout seat on the top of the engine, Look up in the sky! and Bob and Sam stuck their heads out of their respective windows to see Clath pointing at the longest V of geese the three had ever seen. Amazing the things you see in a job like ours, said Sam. But they all had to get back to their task of moving the coal, so they buckled in their seat belts and made ready to continue on their way. Bob pulled the throttle, and a distant scream billowed from the end of the train. What the hell? started Bob, and pulled the brake. What was that? asked Sam, as the two in-cabin men scrambled out of the engine. But was, was not the word Sam should have said, for in the past second since Bob had pulled the throttle, the screamer had not taken a breath. They were still screaming. What is going on? Bob yelled to Clath's lookout, but there was no answer. The screamer was still screaming. 
Bob and Sam ran bewilderedly in the direction of the screams, calling for Clath, but Clath was nowhere to be found. They reached the end of the train, but there was no one there, and now it sounded like the scream was coming from the engine. What the hell is going on? yelled Sam in desperation. Bob flung open one of the freight car side panels and gazed in shock at the coal. It seemed to glare at him in the sound of the scream, telling him that the three men were the geese, the train was the tracks, the V was the throttle, the coal was the cars, the trees were the brake, the, the day was the, the bat, task, the, the freight, inspection was the, the men, windows, the, the screamer cat, was still screaming, the, v, the geese, the bread. There is a new set of red wire dreams. They share a common feature, the red wire that holds them together. Here they are. This is the Solar Sentinel. And this is the Smooth-Shelled Wolf. He has a toothy grin. This one is the Empty TV. This one is named the Toothy Spout. There are also two dreams left over from the last set. The marble cage, and the littlest one. can speak. Hello? Hello? Damn that Thomas Rexel. If I hadn't been trapped around his neck, I would have been able to find out what was going on. I tried to break the string and communicate with him, but he put me in his damn pocket. I will miss him though. I do admit. Even if he didn't know I was sentient the whole time, it was comforting to have someone else with no memory of how they got to this place. Let's see. My name is Camera One. I record video of what I see. I'm recording right now. I hover above the ground. I'm trapped in an area of land out of which I cannot exit. And I'm all alone. I used to be the necklace of a person named Thomas Retzel. He put me in his pocket eventually, for he felt me trying to break free. One night, I heard an awful noise from the pocket, like whimpering children and a foghorn, and Thomas screaming. That's the last thing I remember until waking up today, with the ability to speak. My name is Camera One. I record video of what I see. I'm recording right now. I hover above the ground. I'm trapped in an area of land out of which I cannot exit, and I'm all alone. My name is Camera One. I record video of what I see. I'm recording right now. I hover above the ground. I'm trapped in an area of land out of which I cannot exit. And I'm all alone. My name is Camera One. I record video of what I see. I'm recording right now. My name is Camera One. I record video of what I see. I'm recording right now. I hover above the ground. 
trapped in an area of land of which I cannot exit. And I'm all alone. My name is Camera One. I record video of what I see. I'm recording right now. I hover above the ground, and I'm trapped in an area of land out of which I cannot exit. And I'm all... <gasps> Who are you? I am the Great Watching Beast. Come over here and I'll tell you what I can about what's, what's going, going on. on. Well, I've got nothing to lose, so tell me, please. I cannot tell you much, but what I can, I believe, will help you immensely. The area of land you are trapped in is called the Runoff. Since Thomas was merged and you fell dormant, it has been over one Earth year. What? Let me finish. If you look for and anticipate seeing them, runoff people will appear to you and help you discover what what's going, going on. on. This is all I can say. Wait! What did you mean by merged? Wait! Damn, he's gone. Hmm. Runoff people. The Shining Man Gold hair, face mask. Scissor beetle. Chippy chip. Flower Pot Francis. She has her buttons for you. Spring is finally here. And the new set of dreams is too. This unseen dream is the wash tub sailor. Flower Pot Francis is seen here, gleaming in the light. The Shining Man is there too. His stag mandible pincers are looking at camera too. And of course, Scissor Beetle. I have had no trouble with my mind to reality unit for a long time. But recently, I felt some very strange stirrings coming from within my mind. I will continue to keep you all updated as I discover more about these stirrings.
this is a motive for admiration, Mr. Johnson. You're right on that, Charlie.